Question 1a. Given that 7 minus 2x, 9, 5x plus 17 are consecutive terms of a geometric progression GP with common ratio R greater than 0, find the values of x. So we're just going to solve this right away. So let's divide this into two so that we'll have enough space. Okay. Now, we remember that for a geometric progression, R is equals to, the common ratio is equal to the, the second term divided by the first term. Also, we can also say that uh, R is also equals to the third term divided by the second term. What we are saying is that if you have a set of sequence, in this case now geometric progression, now this first term, this second term, this third term, it contains like that fourth term. So we are only saying that the if you want to get the common ratio, this is second term. So second term divided by the first term. This is third term. So third term divided by the second term, just like that. Fourth term divided by the third term, just like that. So we move on. So we have only three terms here that are given to us. So that is why I'm picking these two. Remember, we are, our target is to get the value of x. So we substitute those values at once. So we know that r is equals to the second term is 9 all over the first term is 7 minus 2x. So this is the second term, this is the first term. We also have that that same r is also equals to the third term 5x plus 17 divide by the second term which is 9 divide by the second term which is 9 so we have that now if r is equals to this this common ratio is equal to this common ratio is also equal to this it is reasonable to say that this is equals to this it's reasonable to say that 9 over 7 minus 2x is equals to 5x plus 17 all over 9 so we cross multiply this time this this time this so cross multiply this time this this time this so that is to say that we have 7 minus 2x times 5x plus 17 is equals to 9 times 9 is 81 so we have 81 now we clear these brackets. When you clear these brackets, if you clear these brackets very well, you're going to have this. So that seven, okay, let's just do it together. Seven times five uh, X, I'm using this to operate this and this. So this multiplied by this and this. So seven times five X will give us 35 X, okay? Now seven times plus 17 will give us plus 119 one, 119 now the next one we are done with 7 so let's use minus 2x so minus 2x times 5x will give us minus 10x square minus 10x square okay minus 10x square now we use minus 2x to multiply plus 17 so minus 2x times plus 17 will give us minus 34x minus 34x we should now be equals to our 81 that is there already for 81 so we have that we have this now the next thing we are going to do is to collect like terms and we solve this so if you collect like terms and solve this you are going to have minus 10 minus 10 s square and we are picking this minus 10 s square in terms of the degrees of the powers so we have for the x now we have 35 x minus 24 x that will leave us with uh, plus x plus x now we have uh, plus one one uh, one one nine. So let's take that plus 
119 and this whole thing is equals to 81 okay now on rearranging that on rearranging this we are going to have okay let's take this 81 over so that we are just taking it bit by bit so that you understand what we are doing so that will now become uh, minus 10 s square plus x plus 119 minus 81 minus 81 because i'm moving this 81 to that side minus 81 and this whole setup this whole expression is equals to zero so everything is equals to zero now by the time we solve this we are going to have minus 10 s square plus x so that 119 minus 81 119 minus 81 will give us plus 38 plus 38 equals to 0 plus 38 equals to 0 so that's what we have now what i'm going to do is that i'm i want this to be positive i want this uh s square to be positive 10 s square to be positive so i'm going to move all the terms on this uh, side i'll move it to the other side then we'll have them to be positive this one to be positive and the other ones will take the different sign according to their signs so minus 10 x squared moving over to this side becomes plus 10 x squared this is plus x moving to that side becomes minus x then this is plus 38 moving to that side becomes minus 38 and everything is equals to zero I think equals to zero this is zero equals to zero now this is a quadratic expression or quadratic equation rather now for this quadratic equation i'm going to adopt the easiest uh, method or the fastest method we can use or the most uh, simplest method we can use very fast so you can use whatever method you are familiar with be it completing the square method be it or uh, the formula method the almighty formula method or the factorization uh, method so i'm going to use the factorization method to do this so what do i do i will get two numbers Two common numbers that I can use to replace these two common uh, roots I will use to replace this first this minus X how do I do that I multiply minus 38 by the first term 10 X squared when you multiply that you're going to get uh, minus 380 X squared minus 380 X squared and if you get two numbers that you can multiply to get uh, minus 380 squared those two numbers will be uh, minus 20 and plus 19. Minus 20 and plus 19 will give you minus 380 S squared. Now, if you add them together, if you add that minus 20 uh, and plus 19 together, you're going to be left with minus 1, which is the same as this minus X. So that is what I'm going to use. So I'll use those two factors to replace this. So that will now be 10 S squared. 10 s square minus okay let's begin with the minus 20 so minus 20 x plus 19 x then plus minus our 38 we have our 38 then this whole thing is equals to zero this whole is equals to zero so we have that so the next thing we have to do is to group let's group them group them group this group this this is 19 don't forget this 19 so let's group them if we group them we can factorize this we can factor this out we have 10 10 s square here we have 20 s here so what is common between this and this is 10 x 10 x is common because we can factor at 10 x here we can also factor at 10 x here so if we take that out 10 x squared divided by 10 x will be left with x minus 20 x divided by 10 x will be left with 2 2 so let's go to this side plus what is common here let's look at what is common here we have 19 x and we have minus 38 19 is common because 19 times 2 will give us 38 so 
19 is common so let's factor out 19 factor out 19 and if you do that 19 we go into 19x or 19x divided by 19 will have x left minus 38 divided by 19 will be left with 2 2 be left with 2 so we have that you find out that from what we have solved so far this bracket and this other bracket are equal so we can take one of them so let's pick one of those brackets remember this is equals to zero don't forget this is equals to zero don't forget that as we move on equals to zero so this bracket and these brackets are equal so i'm going to take one of them x minus two then pick those uh ones you have aside these numbers we have our side i have 10x here i have 10x i have plus 19 so these are outside plus 19 and this whole thing don't forget is equals to zero it's equals to zero so we have that now if two numbers are equals to zero if the product of two numbers are equals to zero it actually means that either any of the numbers is equals to zero so is it that x minus 2 is equals to 0 or 10 x plus 19 is equals to 0 so you see that this is equals to 0 or see that this is equals to 0 or this is equals to 0 so if that is uh, very clear we can make as a subject formula here so from here if x minus 2 is equal to 0 it is true to say that x is equals to 2 is equals to 2 because this is minus 2 crossing over to this side that will be 0 plus 2 and 0 plus 2 is 2 or we also have this okay let me just solve at this place very so that uh, you get it better so this will be 10x is equals to minus 19 minus 19 10x is equals to minus 19 minus 19 is equals to minus 19 now don't forget that our x is equals to 2 we have that or our x will be equals to minus 19 all over 10 so these are the values of x we were asked to get. These are the values of x. We